Today we're checking out an episode of Love Don't Judge entitled My Girlfriend Acts Like a Dog and I love it. I know people are into all sorts of freak these days so let's check this out. Love Don't Judge. Love doesn't judge but I do. This is Lorenzo. Lorenzo? He fell in love with Jenna. Jenna. She's got a dog collar on already so we're off to a good start. If Jenna ever gets lost they know how to return her to Lorenzo at least. My favorite thing about Jenna is her ability just to embrace who she is as a puppy. As a puppy? Oh, puppy play is extremely important in my relationship. That's where a lot of like my my love language. He's got he's got her in a crate. Listen, I'm not a big fan of crates for dogs. I'm not really sure about crates for people though. This is a new one. I've never seen a person in a crate. I don't know where this is going, but if this was a dog instead of a person, the crate this is actually a good setup for the crate. They got a nice bed. They got a little toys. If Jenna was a dog, this actually is a good setup. This canine couple okay. have had to deal with some harsh. Well, judgment. at least we don't have a choke chain on Jenna. It's just a regular flat collar, which is good. Absolutely mental. Like out of their mind. I'm gonna bleach my eyes. When we're in public. <laughs> It can be a little bit embarrassing at times. Oh, she taken him. <laughs> He's taking her to the dog park. Oh, Jesus. Sort of clicked almost right away on. Let's set. hear the story. After they met, there was one thing that Jenna had to make sure Lorenzo was on board with. <laughs> Just one thing. Yeah, I'm scared of spiders. I don't really like spicy food. And oh yeah, by the way, I think I'm a f dog. Oh God. When I was really, really little. Oh, this actually I started would when she was a mom kid. To oh play with the dogs with me. I almost kind of, well, I don't know. We'll see how the rest of this video goes, but I almost kind of feel bad for laughing now if this is something that's been going on since she was a kid, because now I start to kind of wonder, maybe there's some sort of mental issue, mental disorder. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep watching. We'll, we'll decide if it's okay to laugh at the end. Jenna lives a puppy <laughs> lifestyle and had to make sure <laughs> Jenna's, Jenna's like begging him. for food. <laughs> her puppy needs. Tell her when no. When I first told him about this, he didn't <laughs> shy away at all. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house, but if you ever have an actual dog, not a human dog, Dog like Jenna here, but an actual dog that begs for food. Anytime that you give them food when they're begging, you reinforce the behavior. Best thing to do when a dog is begging for food, a real dog, not a human dog, is you ignore them. Oh, she's a service dog. So Jenna's got extra really training. Was something that I've learned a lot of from Jenna. You know, it's something that Jenna's, I feel that Jenna's ready for her I walk. Personally, love embracing. <laughs> um, I. It's very important to get a lot of praise, a lot of. You know, good job, you're doing great. You know? <laughs> so all those same things that Jenna likes that are very important for Jenna, the praise and telling when you're doing a good job, it actually is what you want to do with dogs. And it is the most effective way to train dogs, positive reinforcement. What I like about being a dog is the bond between like that one special person, like your owner. I'll give her that one. Real dogs do have the capability of building extremely strong bond with us humans. So that part is true. Although humans can build strong bonds to humans as well, even when we don't pretend to be a dog. That they have, you know. Good girl. Um, Good girl. Like She's digging a hole. I like Jenna's got a barrier bone. Having, you know, so much easier. Give her a little dog door. That's all it's missing. This bedtime, is <laughs> bedtime where girl. I feel the safest at home. To your crate. Um, it's kind of like my den. It's like my my area that I can retire to and know that I'm safe. And... <laughs> she, she, she doesn't even fit. Her arms and legs are going out the two sides. If you're gonna go to this level of commitment of pretending to be a dog, at least get yourself a crate you can fit in. I was sort of uh, shocked. I mean, it was it was a lot bigger <laughs> than I thought. But once it was set up. And Poor I Lorenzo. saw just how happy she was and comfortable. <laughs> she, She's got her chew. <laughs> She's got her chew toy even. I, I think it makes her a great addition to the room. Oh, hello, um, Pokemon. What was that one's name? <laughs> Forget. That was a Pokemon though. Some of the most negative comments. It's probably just people saying that I'm crazy. <laughs> this person. I'm scared. Absolutely... This should be illegal. <laughs> this ain't right. Listen, I'm having a lot of fun watching this and cracking up. The reality is though. If somebody wants to do something and it doesn't affect anybody else, who cares? If Jenna pretended to be a dog and getting walked around and going to the dog park and being on a leash makes her happy, guess what? It doesn't affect my life, doesn't affect your life. It's, let her do it, who cares? It's Are you being held against your will? <laughs> Is he forcing you to do this? Like, blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> blink twice if you're okay. I know myself that I'm not hurting anybody. I try to comfort her and let her know that there may be a minority of people that feel a certain negative way. I don't think you. I don't think it's a minority. I think it's probably the majority. We're gonna go to the park. Dog and park I'm time. I'm thinking we'll get some usual shots, but mm -hmm. what if we throw a frisbee and you catch it? In my mouth. <laughs> in mouth right? she, Jenna plays fetch. You, catch it in your mouth, you know what you get, right? 
Do I get a treat? Yes. <laughs> she gets a treat. I'm really curious now to see what kind of treat she's gonna get. He's gonna feed her dog treats or actually human food. You ready to go? Yes. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Sit. Leash her up. Oh, he tells sit. her to sit. For dogs, it actually is a good default behavior to ask dogs to sit before stuff because it's a good way to teach a dog to say please before you leash them up. Sit before you open the door to go out somewhere. Sit. So it works with dogs, and I guess it works with Jenna too. Good girl, you want to go to the park? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Jenna, you get enough walking. She'll be walking on all fours there. <laughs> She's kicking her head out the car. <laughs> and the dogs are happy to see her. I'm actually curious now to see how the dogs react to a person being on the floor because it's actually really important when you go to a dog park you, you never want to really bring small children to the dog park because dogs will see them kind of as playmates and will jump on them and will treat them differently so it's kind of going to be interesting to see here what happens when Jenna goes crawling into the dog park on all fours how the dogs react <laughs> when we're fetch? in public I can see how it can oh, she's be barking. A she's rolling over times <laughs> Jenna's the best trained dog in there I think just for a lot of people, it's it's new to see it in the way that she does well, it's it. It's new, all right. I don't find it weird. All right, well, <laughs> that was interesting. I've seen a lot over the years when it comes to dogs. This is the first time I've seen something like that. Even though I was cracking up and laughing throughout this whole thing, honestly, the message to take away from this, if something doesn't affect you and it makes people happy, hey, let them do it. My suspicion is there's probably some sort of deeper issue going on that Jenna probably should address. And you know, this probably isn't healthy, but again, if it doesn't affect us, it doesn't affect me. If they want to do it run around in a dog leash, hey, Good for her. All right, guys, that's all for today. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, get the notifications. And if you ever need a little extra help training your dog, check out my website, brightdog.com. See you next time.